Hello and welcome to this very exciting video on Big Blue Hub. Um, I'm going to be talking about the retro mini consoles. Uh, they hold a very dear place into my heart. Um, I, I have been a gamer for quite some time and I really love the, 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 the retro games. I mean, I'm, I'm the type of guy who will sit and go onto YouTube and watch somebody clock ghouls and ghosts from back in the day and watch the whole video from start to finish. <laughs> That's so much I love it. Um, but okay, so I'll just give you a quick rundown on my gaming history. Uh, I have uh, had pretty much every console computer there is going. Um, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna show my age now. Um, BBC Acon Spy Hunter. If any of you remember that, then fair play. Um, I've had a Sinclair Spectrum, Manstrad, CPC 464. I have had Commodore Amiga, Atari STs, uh, Master Systems, Mega Drive. Um, I have had GameCube, Dreamcast, Sega Saturn. Um, all of them, basically. Anything that was going. Obviously, I went up to the PlayStation. Uh, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4 is what I have now. Very looking forward to PlayStation 5. It's going to be amazing, um, but the, the, the retro stuff that I really love, and that's what I want to talk about today, is the retro mini console. So I have six. Um, I wanted to share with you um, <laughs> my collection. I think it's very cool. I have them here. Um, we'll start here with the Commodore 64, C64. Um, it's perfect. It's absolutely on the money. Injection molding is brilliant. Now, one thing I will say as well is that any of these retro consoles would make a fantastic Christmas present. Um, even for young, younger generation who want to know what all the fuss was about, older generation, the nostalgia, a bit like myself, I'm definitely not part of the younger generation anymore. I used to be. <laughs> I still feel like the younger generation, but yeah, okay. Um, yeah, this is, uh, I think it's fantastic. Uh, one thing that I found was quite cool was it, it has the, the, the dual USB ports. Um, you can plug a keyboard into that and you can actually use the C64 Basic um, because this was actually designed as a, uh, a home computer, uh, not really a console. But yeah, that's pretty cool, right? Okay. So now I'm going to move on to my personal favorite. Um, I'm not going to give you a biased opinion, it's going to be very unbiased as to what I think about all of these. This is my personal favourite, it's, it's only because I have extremely fond memories of the Mega Drive uh, from back in the day. Uh, this is, <laughs> it's, uh, I, for me it's a beautiful machine, absolutely fantastic and I love it. Um, great selection of games, uh, again it's HDMI port, USB out, yeah, okay, anyway I'll go through the details later. Um, then we have the NES, which started the whole revolution on the retro minis. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. The, the, the length of the controller is awful, but I'm going to show you all the different controllers and the lengths. I'll do that. I'll show you. Um, I'm not sure what they were thinking, you know, that we're going to sit in front of the TV like it's going to be there. I mean, the CRTs that we used to use back in the day. Um, Obviously, we used to sit sort of on top of them a bit, but now, you know, you've got the LEDs and you sit back. Yeah, I think it's a bit of a mistake, but anyway, that's fine. Then we have the Super Nintendo, which is fantastic. Um, the USB ports were actually hidden underneath here, which is fun. Um, yeah, cool. It looks fantastic, right? Okay. PlayStation. Next generation, well, the beginning of the next generation, um, real game changer. It's a shame about certain things about this, but I'll tell you about that. Um, it's really the games, um, the selection of games is not great. Yeah, it's all right, but it's not good. Okay. Then we have the Neo Geo. <laughs> now, the Neo Geo holds a very special place for me because I'm not sure if you were like me, um, always wanted a Neo Geo. Price was a little bit out of my range. I'm sure the games were like hundreds of pounds, and just it was oh, it was a bit much. Um, but to have the actual mini console 
It's fantastic. I mean, it, 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 it's a working little arcade machine, and then it has um, HDMI out, mini HDMI out, USB-C, AC. Um, it's a shame that it's not the actual mold of the original, the same as the others. It's a shame. Um, I would have preferred that, but it's still pretty cool. And at the end of the day, it's a Neo Geo. Okay, so they all um, run off of USB power, so um, you don't have any plugs or anything included in the box. It's just one word of advice. I mean, I, I, I assume that there would be plugs, USB, whatever, to plug them in, but there isn't. Um, so if you're going to have two or three of them, you need to make sure you have uh, plugs with a USB interface so you can use them. Um, it's fine. Uh, the Neo Geo has 40 games built in, which is fantastic. Commodore 64, 64 games, of course. Yeah. Um, the Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES, has 30, which is pretty good. The Super Nintendo has 20. Um, now, it's a little bit less than the others, but I would say that the Super Nintendo has got quite the array. I mean, you're talking about um, Street Fighter 2, Turbo, um, Fantastic, Mario World, um, Zelda, Link to the Past. Unbelievable games, you know. Then you've got the Mega Drive. Again, my personal favourite. <laughs> I'm trying not to be biased, but I, I love the Mega Drive. The reason why I love the Mega Drive is because that was my console when I was growing up. That was my main console that I had. Um, it's beautiful. It's, it's, it's fantastic. And then you've got the PlayStation. Now, the PlayStation only has 20 games. Now, the 20 games are not great. They're really not. Um, I think there was licensing issues um, with having some of the good games. I mean, yeah, 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 there's some good stuff on there, but for me, it's the weakest one. What I'll do, I will do like a, a, a ranking top to bottom from six to one, which is my own personal ranking. Um, but like I said, any one of these would make a fantastic present uh, Christmas time. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens. So let's go ahead and do a bit of a size comparison. Um, you can see here they are all laid out now for you. Um, Sony PlayStation, here. Yeah. Very cool, mold is fantastic. The C64, um, obviously these keys don't work. Um, but like I said before, there is quite a cool feature that um, one of the USB ports you can um, plug in uh, an external keyboard and use the C64 Basic. So that's very cool. We have the Super Nintendo, obviously. Very cool. Yeah, all good. All good. The NES. You know, the recreations are very cool, I must say. Mega Drive. Very good. Uh, and the Neo Geo, like I said before, I, I would have preferred that this was actually a molding of the original console, not this kind of arcade thing, which it does actually work. I mean, it's quite cool, but yeah, that's only in my own personal opinion. But that's how they sort of compare size-wise. They're all very small, miniature, but also extremely cool. Okay, let's talk about the controllers. Um, they're all authentic controllers, they run off USB which is fantastic, um, well apart from the NES and the Super Nintendo they have their own connection, um, but <laughs> I just have to show you, I mean this is the NES controller, that's ridiculously short isn't it, I mean that is too short, I mean I remember the days we used to sit in front of the CRTs and we used to be like you know on top of it, yeah fine, but these days, no. Nah. That's no good. Now, the Super Nintendo, it is longer. It's definitely longer, but it's still not great. Um, I would recommend if you were gonna buy a Super Nintendo or the NES as a present, buy the extension cable, and um, you can get it from anywhere uh, and put that in the box or, you know, as part of the present, do that 100%, no problem at all. Neo Geo is good, it's very long, it's nice. Yeah, uh, it's a USB-C connection. So, yeah, you can get an extension for that. I'm sure that's no problem at all. Um, the Commodore 64 is not bad, but it's USB, so you can get any kind of USB extender. That's not a problem at all. Uh, the PlayStation is okay. 
Um, well, it's not bad. Again, USB though, so you can get any kind of extension. Uh, the Mega Drive is the longest one. I mean, it's, it's got a very, very good length to it. Um, again, though, it's USB, so you can just extend it with the USB extender. Um, just a kind of word to the wires. Okay, all right. So here we have the Commodore 64. Um, this is the basically the, the minute you load it. This is this is what you get. Uh, this is all the games. You basically can just scroll through, select whatever you fancy. Um, there are 64 games on here, like I said before. Um, <laughs> there are some classics on here. Um, there is actually one thing that I did find, which I thought was quite cool, um, was if you have a USB keyboard, you can plug it into the C64 and actually use um, the C64 basic program. Um, and then you can actually use it like a computer, like it was originally designed for. Um, I thought that was quite a cool feature. I thought I'd let you know, look, there it is there. C64 Basic. That's pretty cool, right? I like it, so. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, down the bottom here, you have your settings. Um, this is your display settings. So you can go Pixel Perfect, European, North American, uh, Pixel Perfect CRT. You can add like a CRT tinge to it, you know, so it gives you that, that, that proper authentic game playing experience. I mean, personally, I play it on Pixel Perfect, but that's just me. Um, yeah, very cool. Uh, you have the settings here. Uh, which is just basically to do with the USB keyboard and system. I mean, it's, it's very simple, very easy to use. Um, and then as soon as you want to play a game, you can just basically go straight in, select the game you want, and off it goes. Um, no loading times, of course, which is cool. I remember back in the day, I used to put cassette tapes into this. <laughs> and wait 20 minutes for it to load and uh, now we can just go straight in and play which is fantastic <laughs> God, love it. yeah so yeah uh, play the game, see how you want to get on. Okay, that's the C64. Okay, so this is the Neo Geo menu. Um, no music, which I thought I'd mention. Uh, everyone else had music, so I'm not sure why this doesn't. Um, fantastic selection of games. All the Metal Slug series, King of the Monsters, um, probably about every fighting game <laughs> going on the Neo Geo. Um, very cool, yeah, definitely 100%. At the top here, uh, you have your settings, which again, um, screen resolution, you can go maximum, pixel CRT, I mean, however you want to do it. Uh, for me, I like the maximum screen, definitely 100%. Um, so, yeah, uh, uh, basically it, it's pretty much the same um, as before. Just select any game you want, and off you go, really. Little slug. Fantastic. Do a bit of loading. <laughs> Gotta love that. I love these little intros and all of them. It's just beautiful. Yeah, Metal Slug. <laughs> Gotta love it. You have to love it. Yeah, and here we go. Is the Neo Geo. Okay, so this is the NES. It's obviously very similar to the Super Nintendo system. Um, you have your games here, no problem at all. Go up here, you've got your display. Again, Pixel Perfect 4x3 CRT filter. I play a Pixel Perfect personally. Um, options, settings, again, 
great selection of games on here. Uh, Mega Man, Mario, um, Ninja Game, Pac-Man, Punch-Out. I mean, it really is fantastic. Um, Zelda games, just absolutely brilliant in my opinion. Um, obviously, you can just select any game you fancy playing. Um, and off you go and just start playing it. I mean, it's very simple. Very, very, very simple stuff. It's good. So we we'll start a bit of Galaga, shall we? Now that, that's, that's a game that brings back a lot of memories, a lot of frustrating memories, I would say. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> oh, I just love the 8-bit sound. Do you not love it? I just love it. I think it's beautiful. Right, let's go. Notoriously hard game. I remember from back in the day. Absolutely awesome, oh, I love it. Come on! Come on! <laughs> okay. That's the NES. Okay, so here we have the Super Nintendo main menu. Um, the music is hilarious, it's very Nintendo. <laughs> it's been cracking me up. Um, here obviously you select whatever game you want. There is a wealth of good games on the Super Nintendo. I mean, you've got Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Um, you've got Super Ghouls and Go, Super Mario, M Super Mario World, Metroid, Punch-Out, Zelda Link to the Past. Don't have to say a lot about that. Unbelievable bit of gaming. I mean, this really has got a great selection of games on it. Um, at the top there you will see your settings. Um, this here is your uh, display. Pixel Perfect 4x3 CRT filter. Uh, there's no option for a full screen. Um, which is okay, fair enough. Uh, this one just does not do it. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's pretty much uh, like the same as the others. Uh, any game you fancy having to go on, you just select the game and off you go. <laughs> Even that gives me the uh, nostalgia. A bit of Castlevania. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Okay, cool. Okay, so here we are with the PlayStation. Um, pretty similar like the C64, you just have your list of games. You can play whatever you fancy. Um, the selection's not bad, there's only about 20. Uh, I think that could have been a bit better if I'm honest with you. Um, yeah, so it, it's basically just select the game and go. I mean, on the settings, screensaver language, power stuff, it's not really anything too special. Um, it displays how it displays. Um, but yeah, no, there's a couple of cool games. Obviously, Grand Theft Auto, one of my favourites. Uh, Destruction Derby was always absolutely fantastic. Cool Borders, very cool. Um, yeah, so this is basically the menu. Uh, if you want to go into anything, just select the game you want. <laughs> That's nostalgia for you. <laughs> just that noise, it brings me back, it really does. Yeah, and the game should just start. Which is fine. Loading, which is funny, considering it should be quite fast. Uh, yeah, structure demo. There it is. Okay, so that's the uh, the PlayStation. So let's discuss uh, my order and um, what I believe um, to be the best to the worst. Not that I think there is a worse one, <laughs> but there is an order for myself anyway. Um, I'm going to have to put the PlayStation in number six 
and that's solely because of the game selection, very lackluster. Um, there was a lot of titles there that could have been added. Um, I know it was due to licensing issues, but that's that's probably why that is down there, I would say. Um, and then possibly uh, the Commodore 64 would be number five. Um, just because, well, uh, you're going up against the Super Nintendo and the NES and Neo Geo, so it's, it's actually quite hard to pick a selection, but I would definitely put that at number five. Um, and then number four for me would be the NES. Um, again, this is this is a very hard selection to make, um, but it's just solely because obviously um, my personal background uh, with the others, I would say. Um, now, now this is very hard because obviously now we're going into the top three. Um, you've got the Neo Geo, you've got the Mega Drive, and the Super Nintendo. Uh, very hard to put them up against each other. Um, like I said, the Neo Geo holds a special place for me uh, because I always wanted to have one and it was a little bit out of my reach back in the day. And uh, now I have one, which is fantastic. Um, but I'm going to have to put the Neo Geo in third, I would say. Definitely. I mean, I know it is a fantastic console, um, but, you know, you're competing with Super Nintendo and Mega Drive. Then I'm going to put the Super Nintendo in second. Um, it really was an iconic console back in the day. Uh, the game selection on this one is absolutely fantastic. Um, and then that puts the Mega Drive at number one. Um, like I said, it, it's, it's purely because of the nostalgia for me. Uh, the game selection on here is absolutely amazing. And I just think it is definitely the best of all of them. But like I said, any of these would make a fantastic present for anyone for Christmas. Um, yeah, I, I think they're, they're, they're brilliant. I mean, it's a great lineup. Um, hours of fun to be had playing these. Okay, thanks. Okay, so that's about it from me. But before I go, um, there is another thing I want to talk about um, besides all this fantastic mini retro stuff. Um, it's the Google Stadia. Now, I'm sure you've heard about this. I'm very excited about it. Very, very excited. Um, I've had my pre-order on now for seven months. It's being delivered on Tuesday. Um, so yeah, I just want to say I'm very excited about it. So don't forget to hit subscribe and like, uh, because uh, what I'll do is when I get the Google Stadia, I'll do an unboxing video. Um, and I will also planning to play it for two or three days just to see what it's like. And then I'll upload that video as well, like a kind of review of it and see what you guys think. Um, so you don't really want to miss that. So definitely hit the subscribe. Make sure you do. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have enjoyed making it. Um, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Okay, thank you.